പ്രഗത്ഭനായ കമ്മ്യൂണിസ്റ്റ് നേതാവ് സി പി എമ്മിൻ്റെ മുതിർന്ന നേതാവ് അതോടൊപ്പം തന്നെ ജെ എൻ യുവിൽ എസ് എഫ് ഐയുടെ സ്ഥാപക നേതാവായിരുന്നു പിന്നീട് ഡി വൈ എഫ് ഐയുടെ സ്ഥാപക നേതാക്കന്മാരിൽ പ്രമുഖനുമായിരുന്നു ശ്രീ സുനിത് ചോപ്രയാണ് ഇന്ന് നമുക്കൊപ്പം സാർ ക്ലൈവിനൊപ്പം ചേരുന്നത് വെൽക്കം സാർ താങ്ക് യു ആസ് എ പൊളിറ്റിക്കൽ ബീയിങ് ഹൗ ഡു യു ഡിഫൈൻ കറണ്ട് പൊളിറ്റിക്കൽ സിനാരിയോ ഇൻ അവർ നേഷൻ വാട്ട് ഇസ് ഗോയിങ് ഓൺ ഇൻ അവർ നേഷൻ there are two or three things the most important thing that we are facing today is that on a global level today the situation is such that the uh, asian century is before us now in the asian century you have russia china and india so far i find that there is an attempt with mr modi to mend his fences with the usa which has nothing to do with asia in fact it would be far more sensible to take the asian century as the basis of your existence in india and at the same time ensure that there is peace in our region mr modi somehow seems to think that he can bargain with the usa which has nothing to do with the asian region and at the same time he can try and take advantage of the oil deals that he is making with russia and various other aspects now the point is you cannot actually on the one hand try to utilize the economic and other advantages of the asian region and the asian century and on the other hand you go and try to keep america happy in the quad so now the point is this that it is this attempt to have your cake and eat it too that is unrealistic because you either eat your cake or you don't you can't do both but mr modi is trying to do both and at the same time he is asking the indian people to come together how can you come together you have divided kashmir into three parts so how are you going to come together if i can divide the people of kashmir in three parts tomorrow i can try to do the same thing elsewhere so this kind of double position is both dangerous to india and dangerous for the indian people the, on the other hand the hatred is spreading inside the country you see hate is part of that the three parts that kashmir is broken into clearly are on the basis of jammu kashmir and ladakh this is your hate game why are you doing it you cannot actually do that but he is doing it and in this sense people are in fact uh, angry and the people of kashmir have stated very clearly that the problem of kashmir is not the problem of kashmir it is the problem of mr modi and we should not multiply this problem in all other states of india as you know in kerala also you have a governor in kerala yeah. who is actually instead of uniting the people and actually helping the most successful state in india yeah. 
even the government of india says that kerala is the best in many parameters in, in many parameters so when you have a good thing going why are you putting salt in the milk you know this is not the sort of thing you should do and i can say very clearly that we are very happy that in kerala people are both mature and serious and so they are supporting their government in uniting the people okay but uh, the truth is that uh, we have here the uh, some people have grown affinity towards the hindutva politics talking about the hindutva politics uh, we have crossed the level beyond the hindutva politics far left is being grown up daily how do you uh, analyze that thing it is normal either you are scientific or you are not if you are scientific you will cross hindutva politics because hindutva politics is not scientific hindutva politics is merely divisive in fact that politics was played by the british in kashmir itself if you remember when they took over the eastern sector of kashmir pakistan invaded as you know and they took over some thousands of hectares of land which we claim to be indian and at the same time you are playing their game at the same time you are trying to say that you are united you can't do both so what you can't do is better not to do and i hope that mr modi will learn a lesson from all this i have come to kerala only to understand that what is the lesson okay and i can see the peacefulness of kerala the way in which hindus muslims local people uh, the party itself they are all united in putting things together you can see how long ago the party had started this question of planning so at the higher level the party learned to plan at the lower level what did they do they gave courage to the people to do their own thing they did not make them dependent on the party and the people did it i was very happy to meet comrade shimukdin who was who is in fact a local councillor and at the same time a local committee leader and i asked him i said what are you doing and he was telling me we are fighting for save ernakulam and the point is i asked him what do you mean by save ernakulam he said there are questions of land there are questions of food there are questions of health there are questions of Uh, better uh, r- r- infrastructure. Uh, better infrastructure and resources and all these questions we handle with the people independently now this is very important independent handling of problems so that the people get the confidence to fight and the people get the confidence to explain to the government thank you for your perception thank you for what you have done and at the same time we will do what is necessary and in that process you find that the people are much stronger in actually educating both above and below and this courage that kerala has given the people in my view is the basis of why the left won two elections one after another 
because people feel that if we are doing what we are doing and we know what we know, then I think these people are the best people to govern us. Yeah, uh, we know that uh, this uh, left has a uh, uh, certain role in uh, playing, as you said, but now, nowadays, this uh, far right or BJP is getting better in Kerala state. How do you feel? That uh, you see, I don't think you can get better with the wrong policy, frankly. Uh, I do not think that you can get better not, with doing the wrong thing. I, I mean, not better. The political party is growing up. Uh, you see, this is growing up in terms of a certain amount of number of people. The point is, numerical growing has not helped in Kashmir. In Kashmir, there, are ter there is terrorism all the time. In Kashmir, you have got the um, outside uh, Hindu people kept almost like hostages by the Kashmir government. So the point is, you can't keep the people hostages in their own country. As for Kashmir, so for Kerala, so for any other state, so for UP. The point is, you cannot actually keep people as hostages in their own country. And this is something that will actually rebound on BJP. Coming back to the uh, national politics, right. uh, we know Rahul Gandhi is on a walk. Mm -hmm. uh, what could be its outcome? Will he, uh, can, uh, will he uh, get um, uh, uh, strong to defend the fascism? You see, he will get the strength to defeat fascism if he takes an independent stand which he has taken. He has not said, I am going to win an election after this. He said, I am going to Kashmir. From Kanyakumari. And he has united the people of India wherever he went. If you succeed in uniting the people, in fighting for their own rights, it's not necessary for you to win or lose an election. The people will decide. And you find that from 3rd January onwards, he's going to march up again. So my point is that whatever any Indian is contributing to uniting the people of India in their own interest, that person is going to take advantage of the present situation in India. The second thing is that if you in fact, want to succeed in extending your um, in extending your strength in Asia, you have to go with the Asian century, whether you like it or not. This Mr. Modi is not doing. In fact, instead of playing fast and loose instead of buying arms. You don't need to buy arms. You need to give medicine to the people. You need to give rations to the people. You need to give education to the people. You don't have to buy arms. But Mr. Modi is doing that. So a government that knowingly is actually opposing what it knows to be the Asian century. Now, that kind of government is going to get into more and more contradictions. And in these contradictions, we think that there are many states. There is Kerala, there is Tamil Nadu, there is Karnataka. There are many states that will find a better alternative than Mr. Modi. And it is going to come. Do you think Congress is an alternative? See, the point is not when you have a pack of cards in your hand and I say only this card is an alternative. That is unscientific. Whoever acts 
most independently in the interest of the Indian people is the alternative. Doesn't have to be Congress, doesn't have to be anybody. I think personally that the best alternative is a left, peaceful, and pro-Asiatic century position. Whoever takes it will take the pack of cards. So uh, that would be, that could be the trump card and the pack of cards. Exactly. Whoever does it. And you must realize that, you know, very often I am reading this book by Louis Fisher, The Soviet Union and the World. And it's very interesting. Nehru was reading this book in jail, in Naini jail. And who do you think gave it to him? His sister, Krishna, Krishna Hathi Singh later. And in that he has written, I am in barrack number six. And he took more than a year to read the book. And then he went straight to the Soviet Union. Because he realized that the end of the war, the main victory would be that of the Soviet Union. In the same way, with the coming of the Asiatic century, the best result will come from being part of it and not somebody trying to bargain with America using this as a tool. So uh, you are saying about the alternative. Uh, how uh, the, these communist parties could contribute the, to the alternative? Because the communist parties are the parties of the working people. The working people are the majority of the people of India who need help. They are the majority of India who need to learn to be able to take an independent stand. They are the majority of people to actually fight for peace in our region. So, it is only natural that the left will be an important element in all this. As you know, recently they have had a very big meeting in Kokrajhar. And so, you know, you have to understand why do you succeed even when everyone is saying that you are going to fail. The same thing you can see even in the case of the Congress. B BJP has been saying Papu, Papu for a long yeah. time. But where is that word Papu now? The point is, different people at different times put their finger on the switch for peace and the Asian century. The main trend today is the Asian century. And whether you like it or not, it is going to have a better impact on the common people than any other attempt at real politic. So, um, in coming uh, elections, what could be the role of the communist parties and what could be the outcome? You see, my point is election is only one tool. Yeah, sure. Yeah. And uh, you have already shown in Kerala that this can be done. So what you have shown already, why am I going to keep questioning that? I see no reason to question what has already proved itself. Two left governments, one after another. This has not happened in Kerala for a long time. I can see a similar thing happening in Tamil Nadu. I can see a similar thing happening in Karnataka. I can see similar attempts in many other parts of the country from Assam to UP, to Punjab, and very, many other areas. So the point is, when some people are like drivers on a line, which is open, you know that any of these cars can come first. The election is only a part of coming first. The point is to drive together to the point of unity. So, uh, coming to Kerala, how do you uh, analyze the politics here, the left and the UDF politics? Remember, Kerala has been ahead in Indian politics for a long time. This is, this is the state 
which actually won an election under EMS. And at that time, people used to think that communists could never win an election. But EMS showed that you could do it. So in the same way, Comrade Pinri Vijayan has shown that this can be done. So Kerala is still a... Uh, Kerala, if you like, is still leading the race. Now, let us make sure that this race is not only led by one. This race should be a united race against the politics of imperialism, which Mr. Modi is part and parcel of. So, the moment you are able to unite people, without taking petty interests into account, you will find that the people of India will actually thank you for what you have done. And they are thanking you. They were the ones who chose EMS. They were the, they were the ones who chose Comrade Vijayan twice. So if they can do all that, they can do the rest. Uh, coming to your friend Simon Brito, mm -hmm. uh, you must have a clear opinion about how he was placed inside the party. And uh, uh, do you have some words about it? Yes. You see, the greatest thing about Simon Brito was that, as you know, the Kerala party now has started a movement of correcting uh, what they call corruption in the party and so forth. Now, the point is, how do you handle corruption? Simon Brito handled corruption in the way that was best. That is, he actually gave the young people of Kerala a role to play. He was lying in bed. I remember giving him a pen when he was still in bed. And I said, right, doesn't matter. And not only did he begin to write, he wrote so many books. And now I am looking forward to his latest work, his journey around India and what the people told him. So my point is, you know, if you give a good example to others, you don't have to tell them, you do this, you do that. So the point is, if you don't pressurize people to do what you think is correct, they will find the best road for themselves. And Simon gave that best road to the youth of Kerala and the youth of Kerala picked it up. He became an MLA and you know very well how not only was he not in bed, he could even walk and he travelled all over the country. And I hope Simon will be able to inspire the country through his actual experience with the people so that everyone can take part in the mo popular movement in India without feeling that they are doing something or not doing something. Others cannot push you to the real path. The real path is by example from you. But there are some criticism about how he, well he was placed, placed inside the party. See, I have never worried about criticism. It's good. If somebody is criticizing you, you have two things to do. One, study whether that criticism is objective. If the criticism is only subjective, it will only spend, uh, waste time of the movement. Ignore it. That's the best thing to do. BJP <laughs> Sankhaparivarnamulla alternative in the Niana, Sri Suni Chotra Kritiamayam, Stavikina, the Hampton de Api Prime, other Niana, the Labadal than Niana. Thirchayam, Sarklavino open journal, the Ethanola, Nani Arikiana. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. And thank you for giving us the Kerala experience. <laughs>